it is the Sam Livecast. It's Monday night. It's the what's the date? Wait, 11, 12, 13, uh, May 14th. And here we are. I'm excited to be here. I got two things I have to do right now, right off the bat, to get going. And then we'll sit down and we'll start talking about Mother's Day and my private school education. We got all kinds of fun stuff to talk about oh, tonight. Oh, no. Yeah, I got it. No, a comparison, Max. You're going to like it. Wait, but this, for, you, the school that created what you are today. <laughs> and what is wrong with what I'm I am just saying, today? Created what you are today. <laughs> Let me make, uh, as we affectionately call him, Uncle Steve, a cocktail. So we take some tequila. Mm -hmm. We finish the bottle. I'm excited to know what you got in that bowl. We add a little sweet and sour. And we add a little pomegranate juice. This is kind of like that version of the bottle that came to us already made. But mm -hmm. we're just making our own arm version, and then some lime juice. For those that don't know, you're talking about the pomegranate tequila from a couple weeks ago. I got an itch. Yeah, that pomegranate tequila. Mm -hmm. That was very nice. But yeah. uh, look what we can do on our own. So what would you call that? I'd call that a pomegranate tequila, I guess. Boom. There you go, <laughs> Uncle Steve. That's all for you. Thank you, nice. sir. That's pretty. You're welcome. All right, but here's what we're doing. Uh, Kelly and I were at Specialty Produce yesterday getting an ass load of fruit my mother's day mm -hmm. present your mother's day present <laughs> kelly Happily. likes to go who doesn't like to go we've found it recently we're in love with it and while i was there poking around yesterday i came across baby artichokes that i've seen that i've had but i've never made before i'm gonna make them tonight so here's what i'm gonna do the cool thing about baby artichokes is you can ultimately eat really the whole thing as a part of just instead of just the leaves but what you have to do is you have to take the leaf part off so watch what we're going to do. We're going to get all these outer leaves off. It's easy enough. And it happens pretty quick, right? Do they I have the pokies? No, uh, on the ends? Yeah. Yeah, they do have the little, the little sticky point things. Mm -hmm. But that's okay because we're going to eliminate that. What you want to do is you want to get down to what's essentially the yellow uh, light green leaves, which look like this, right? Hey, and when you're cooking an artichoke normally, you cut the tips of those off? Yeah, normally you would part, cut right? this part off here. Normally we would take this artichoke, if it was a full-size one, mm -hmm. cut the stem off, cut it off about here, mm -hmm. to slice the top inch off, drop it in boiling water. Wait, 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 and then with scissors, cut all the thorns off. You yeah, these little ends yeah. right here, because you can see these little ends right here have that little sticky part, right? That'll hurt. Mm -hmm. So we get it down like this, okay? Let me get the other one there, right? So the leaves are just coming off. I've only left these two. I've already done four that are in the water waiting for me. Hey, a yeah. bit of live cast trivia. Yes. When you last did artichokes, who was it with and what episode was it on? Mm. Dude, really? Yeah. I don't know. You got the answer to this? Of course I got the answer to this. Oh. It was, very, it was a big moment in How? live cast history. Let's see, Dad. Can you do it? It was uh, so long ago, there's no <laughs> chance you know. Okay, tell me what show, where the, what? Okay, we'll no. Boom, there you go. <laughs> Episode five, Vincent, Vincent Jackson. Jackson. Oh. You guys made of the Tampa jokes. Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> you know yes. what, I'm actually recalling a joke. He, we were talking about the little prickly things and he called you a prick. <laughs> oh, that's oh, yeah, so something cute like that. But he, he got to chop off the prickly things Vincent in the light. Vincent Jackson. House. That was a long time ago. Uh, okay, so see what we've got? We're gonna take this much off. We're gonna take off about, I don't know, a half. Three quarters of an inch across the top. Okay. The stem I like, but you want to get rid of, you know, like that much of it. And then anything that's sort of brown and icky across here, we're just going to shave this down a little bit. Be because very this careful. this this dark green-ish part and brown here can make it a little bitter, and you don't want bitter. You want to be able to eat sort of all of this thing, right? Nice. And then you take it and you put it into uh, water that has lemon in it. Almost right away, because if you don't, they'll start going brown. You can look down here at the pieces that I did earlier. These are starting to get really ugly brown, and you, don't, you, don't, you really don't want this. Mm -hmm. So same thing with this one. We cut part of that off. We trim this down a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so excited, because I've never had these. I know. We were very, it was fun to see the, look, that's specialty produce. We've talked, I think I talked about it a couple weeks ago, Ann. 
If you don't know what the place is, we should go down there something one day because it's really cool. But. Yeah, and I said before the show, people like it when we do different things. And right. How many people out there have grilled artichokes before? Well, apparently, uh, Amanda mm -hmm. Hurst, <laughs> she really likes them. Okay, so check it out. So here's how we've got them, right? Thanks, Mom. They've been sitting in here. I'm going to take them now. I'm going to cut them in half. Read her comment. You'll like know this? What I mean. And I really hope I'm doing this right. I mean, obviously I'm cutting them in half properly, but, but I think I can cut them and then put them into the boiling water mm -mm, mm -mm, without ruining them. If they all fall apart, I'm going to be so pissed. So would they fall apart like the leaves coming? Yeah, I don't like know because I haven't done this. I feel like if you don't cut off the stems, right, they should be fine. No? Uh, well, I just worry about the insides, but we'll be fine. And so they're okay, now they go into boiling water. And you see, look at, see what's not here? Steve, if you can see that. What's not there is that fuzzy part that is inside of a regular full-size artichoke. Oh, yeah. That's called the choke, right? It isn't, doesn't really exist here. So we're now going to take these guys, scoop them up. We're going to throw them in here. Goodbye. I've salted the water. I like the salt water when I put stuff in. It helps enhance all the flavors. That's done. I'm going to give this uh, six minutes, five we, and a half minutes. Are we just softening the artichokes? It's exactly what we're doing. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. You Kitchen blow timer. Blow the house up. Five three zero. Oh. Okay, good. And then uh, when that's done, we'll uh, drain it. How cute is this? Richard goes, "Damn you, Sam! Stop sending me to places that you mention on the live cast. I don't need these items, but I love them." And he oh. sends a whole bunch of. Jelly flop bag. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the belly flops. And then That's what a cute, cute name for those, right? They're so good. What are those Twinkies with chocolate, chocolate cream? cream? Yeah, I've never seen that. Wow, I didn't suggest that. Whoa, I haven't seen those either. <laughs> you can probably find all sorts of stuff I'm at the store. That. Oh, you're all about any dessert there, <laughs> big boy, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Twinkies. <laughs> wow. That's Mother's Day yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What do we do? What do we do, boys and girls? Are you asking me? Yep. Or the oh, no, I'll, I'll save you for the end. We can talk about what we did. Okay. Lynn? Oh, what did these guys do? Oh, I called my mom, told her that she was the best, and I loved her. Did you send flowers? Did you send anything? No, dude, my mom, she'd be like, why'd you spend money on flowers? Lynn, but they always no, no, no. say that, but, but you have to do yeah, so. My mom never asked for anything. She's the best mom in the world. She spent all her money on raising my sister and I. Aww. But this year, she's like, Lynn... I think it's time for me to get a flat screen TV. <laughs> <laughs> she did not. She yeah, saved no. up. She so, actually so, said that? Well, no. Okay, so in her defense, um, my grandma <laughs> lives with them. They, she watches a lot of, you know, Chinese television. But their, chi their TV right now is like they have to hit it to, like, get it on. You know, it's one of those uh, Lynn. So I'm going to go home. You're like, a techie, Memorial man. Day weekend, and I'm going to buy her a flat screen TV. Oh, how cute. She All saved All right, so it's good that you didn't do anything. Yeah. Does your mom have an accent? Yes, she has a very heavy, heavy? accent. Heavy? Yeah. Lynn. You're so cute, you buy me TV set. You know what? It doesn't sound anything like that. It doesn't? <laughs> no, it really doesn't. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I know what you're getting. That's that a good boy. He, has, he doesn't sound anything Send like her some hargao in the mail or something, some home soy go. Oh, that'd be awesome. In the mail? Cantonese. You could do that. Dim sum by mail. Why couldn't you do that? You can do in and out by mail. You can? Oh, yeah, we learned that. We've talked about that. Yeah. I'm not sure you can do dim sum by mail. There's a company. I don't no, you could personally do that. <laughs> I, I've sent my brother. Uh, who lives in Los Angeles? When I lived in Vancouver, mm -hmm. a hamburger from a Vancouver really oh, I'm nice. Sorry. Wow, that was bad. <laughs> oh, did you see that? <laughs> Steve's that giant head. I was trying to move this. Just like I work <laughs> with <Wow>. such professionals. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> uh, I've sent my brother from Vancouver, Canada, to Los Angeles, California. A hamburger from the White Spot. And anybody that's from Vancouver knows what I'm talking about. It's a local burger that we love. Mm, Is that where they do the tray thing? In FedEx, the right. Yes. I've sent it by FedEx or U UPS or whatever, some overnight thing, and he ate it when it got there. You can send this stuff. He uh, might have yeah. microwaved it a little bit. But okay, wait. Let's talk about that, that company. They package it in dry ice. Could you not do that for your, I mean, for your, can you buy dry ice? Of course. Where do you get it? Uh, well, Vaughn's used to, Vaughn's for a while had dry ice. I bought it at a grocery store. You used to be able to go to the bath. What's the ice cream over there? Is it Baskin Robbins? Yeah, Kelly? they're doing flavors. Yeah, Baskin, yeah, Baskin Robbins. You used to be able to go to Baskin Robbins because mm -hmm. they keep it for their packing stuff. So we could technically 
pick a fan on the East Coast to send in and out to? Shut up. Why don't we go the other idea. way and send some... We should do it. Well, you know what? I'm going to be there next, the beginning of next month. Can you send us some? Uh, I could just, I could bring Shake them Shack? back. Yeah. That's. <laughs> I guess I could just bring back Shake Shack. Oh my. They won't let you on the plane of Shake Shack. No, you could pack. How do you know that? I mean, I I've got, I've stopped at Katz's Deli, and gotten two pounds of sliced pastrami, oh, are you and hand go? carried it on the plane with. They let you bring food on the a plane. Pastrum- of oh, course. absolutely. Yeah. No, I mean through security. Not, they don't let you. It's bring not fruit. Steve. They don't let you and bring it, drinks. I mean, it's in the same country. It's not like you're going to Canada and they don't food want you bringing fine. fruit up there. Food's food. fine, but so I, think I could bring a hamburger. Yeah, through dude, think about it. I, no, you, you have bring a bottle of water. You can't bring liquids, Steve. Because uh, you liquids can't bring can liquids. Like, I understand. Sam, what's the yeah? I'm just gonna ask you on air right now. Yeah. Are you gonna go to Katz's? Of course. Mm. Oh, can I, I pay you to bring me back Brisk a pound? Oh. No, I'll bring back. I'll bring oh, yeah. back. He'll last bring back. Pastrami? No, let's talk. Uh, wait, Dad. Let's ask. What What did you bring, Mom, the last time that you came back from New York? Half a pastrami sandwich and a pound of pastrami. Jeez, yes, so and good. and what did you bring me? Nothing. What did I bring you? You did not bring me anything. <laughs> oh, <exactly. laughs> that was the correct answer. Yes, exactly. I feel bad about that. I yeah. feel bad about that. Okay, let's not lose track of Mother's Day, Steve. Uh, oh, sorry. This I was uh, this was your daughter's second Mother's Day, is that right? Yes. And what did uh, she what we, did she do, we, Veronica? <laughs> Yeah, it was Emma's idea to take her to SeaWorld. I like it. <laughs> so we went to SeaWorld. Yeah. Nice. And um, Was that fun? You know, I, I don't like what it's become, but... What's it become? A theme park. Yeah, it's a theme park, rides. We're just so used to going to the zoo, and it's it's great. But anyway, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a whole other story. And then I took uh, my mom and Annika out for sushi later on. Where'd you go? Uh, Shino, the place in my building. Yeah, in your building. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice. Very good sushi. Nice. Uh, in this house, we had, so funny, we chatted about going out, didn't really want to cook, I would have, but it's not what we really wanted to do, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So the, uh, the artichokes just, uh, are at that five and a half minute mark. I'm going to just, uh, strain them out of this pot. Can you see here? Yep. Mm-hmm. They held together? Mother F. Totally. Are they completely together? Completely together. Look at it. Beautiful. Nice. Right? And I'm just going to let them sit here now. <laughs> I got nothing more to do. I got nothing more to do until we, uh, until we cook them. They're going right on the grill. They're, yeah, I'm going to toss them in a little something. In Jesse there. posts, I made my girlfriend smuggle a whole brisket from Texas. No, see, yeah, you can do that stuff. Between that is countries is difficult, idea. and you can't take liquids, so... Somebody that makes amazing vodka, you got to put in your suitcase or whatever. So we didn't want to go out. I mean, we did. We talked about going out. But it's just, you know what Mother's Day is? It's just there's a billion people. It's like Valentine's Day. There's a billion people. Mm -hmm. So we decided not to. We tried to figure out what to do. And I offered to make all kinds of things, breakfast things. Kelly doesn't like breakfast. When we go to a breakfast place, a brunch place, Kelly has a BLT. That's her thing. No eggs, no pancakes, no... She will eat sausages and bacon, but... Really? And fruit. Lots, and fruit. bagels. Yeah, but, but like... I'm just thinking... I'm just breakfast realizing things. that. Yeah. Fruit even, she eats. You never like cereal? Or? No. Nothing like Nothing, that. No. Oatmeal? No. Oh, Anything normal that you would have for eggs? breakfast, Kelly no, doesn't have that. No, no, no. Hmm. Scrambled eggs she'll eat. Oh no, she won't. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. It's Not it's fried eggs. eggs. No, nope, she doesn't no. like fried eggs. No. You'll have an no. eggs Benedict. No, you yeah. won't have that. I'll have a hard boiled egg. Well, you will eat the frittata that I make. Yes. That's the, the only egg good. thing you'll make. You'll eat right. She likes yeah, well, the pull apart. Hard boiled eggs, I really like. The pull apart like does salad. not have eggs in it. I don't it. like a hot egg. That's the problem. The frittata is hot. Yeah, but it's disguised with all the vegetables. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> so then Kelly decided what she wanted, and it is Kelly's day, so she gets to decide what she wanted. She decided that she wanted Corner House, mm-hmm. <laughs> a sandwich place, because oh. she wanted this tuna with avocado, tomato, and sprouts that she and I had had about two weeks before mm-hmm. that was super good. So we thought, let's get that, and then what are we going to do with that? Uh-huh. Can we find some pretty beach to go to? <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. Is it going to work out? Then I had an idea. I said, why don't we do this? Let's get the sandwiches for everybody. We'll come back here. We'll take one of these cameras outside, and I'll interview 
the boys one at a time asking them questions about their mother on Mother's Day 2012. It was really cute. Oh. He's not it kidding. It was really cute. Did we get to watch it? Yeah, uh, we don't have it. We don't have it in a form you can really watch. On Wednesday, we're gonna have something put together. Wednesday. Well, that means you. So <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> so have if something you say put that, you just be ready to have it. But you know what? I thought, what a great thing because now there's now she can look at this forever. She yeah. can be 97 sitting in her wheelchair. Of course, I'll be long gone because the guys always go first. And watch that from. <laughs> have you seen 2012. it? 2012. I haven't seen it. You have it. Well, it's got to be edited. Well, oh, it's, I, be edited. Okay. it's just straight interviews now. Got it. But I asked the boys all the same questions. It was I think fun. it's a great idea. I think you should do that. He sequestered them so they couldn't hear each other's yeah. answers. Oh, he did. Nice. It was cute. He really it was did. Cute. <laughs> it was so, a cute idea. Hey, let's go to cut, cut to Facebook real quick. Megan Moore. Yeah. Yeah. Check this out. I guess we had a lot of uh, cinema pecan pull apart. No, things. I know. Yeah. I saw a bunch of those. Yeah. The pecan pull apart thing people made, and I love the fact that they did that. Hey, so that's easy. what you said to do. And they did. Then Those they listened. Those were your instructions. Uh, I have a question. Yo. Take my computer mm -hmm. and tell me who this is. Um, go ahead. Take your time. Um, okay. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and do that. No, there what, that's not my computer. It's, it's oh, I wonder why I wasn't doing it. Maybe. When I said take my computer, this I has been on my computer the whole time. Those notes? No, not notes. So there's a picture there. There's something wrong with your desktop presenter. What? Okay, don't it's go to my, my computer because I don't want people to see crap right now. Hold on. <laughs> Take it back. Apologize. Whoa. Apologize. It's not my fault. I'm doing the same thing I always no, do. No, you were an asshole. You called, you just like no, tried I wasn't to call an me asshole. out. Oh, you No, by the way, when I said anytime. take your time, I didn't mean you were effing around. I meant it in a nice way. It had nothing oh. to do with the fact that you <laughs> weren't taking my computer. I don't know what else I can do to have you take my computer than say take my computer. If I'm looking at it, there you go. Thank you. Somebody tell me who the hell that is. I have no idea. Neither do I. Oh, uh, what do you do? What? Stop that. That is your fault, you. Dad. That's I. You. What do you mean that's me? Hey, okay, let's just put this way. Have you're, you seen my hands here the whole time? Ridiculous. Your computer's lagging quite a bit, so we'll have to wait for it to catch up. Okay. Just do it that way. Jesus. You apologize for swearing in no, there. No, there's no. There's computer problems right now, and you're blaming every step on me. So Kelly, right, you guys. How was how was yeah, Mother's Day? Geez. Really nice. We haven't nice. asked you how Mother's Day. It was really, really nice. Yeah. Sunshine, warm. You sat outside. Sat outside. And ate some sandwiches. No. Ate some sandwiches. I want to know who right. has the most questions right. Zach. Okay. We haven't Zach, gotten that. Zach we'll talk about that. We'll talk about who that one. Got the most questions right. The child didn't even know my birthday. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> you might uh, want to leave for your practice uh, now. <laughs> can we go back to the girl on my computer, please? See if it caught We up. can try. I haven't changed anything since then. Ass. God. <laughs> you guys are real. Wow, this makes know, for great television, cute. guys. Nobody knows who that is? I don't know. No. Oh, is that the gr girl from American Idol? No. No. I've I'll no give idea. you her name and maybe this will help. Ready? Demi Lovato. I still don't Girl know. From who that, that show is. on Fox? No. You just Swing guessing now? No, I am not. This oh. girl, along with Britney Spears, are the two new people on The X Factor. Oh. Are you kidding me? I don't know who it is. Who is don't you think somebody that's there should should be a name that everybody goes? So if you're watching. <laughs> Tell me if you know who this girl is. Wait, they put Britney Spears on a show? Simon Cowell, Britney Spears, this chick Demi Lovato, and L.A. Reid wow. are now on X Factor. Wow. What he got rid of Paula Abdul and... Ballsy. What's the other chick's name? Kelly, hello? I... What's the other well, girl's I, you name? You know what? You're like one talent show ahead of me because I'm now just focusing on the one that's airing And tonight. speaking of talent shows, America's Got Talent is on tonight. With Howard Stern, I'm really looking forward to that. That would be very interesting. So apparently Demi Lovato was on Barney and Friends. <laughs> oh, of course. That's where I've seen her. That's where we all know her from. <laughs> I don't know. She's also on other things. but The Princess Production Program, a movie in 2009? No? So you saw, just take a complete too. unknown, <laughs> and now she's judging talents? Well... I don't know if she's completely unknown, but like, you could I don't watch the Disney channels. Why so. is J-Lo judging talent? Because <laughs> well, uh, she's 
Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, that's really mean of you. <laughs> Why are you hating oh, on JLo? JLo's hot. But she <laughs> Le- can't sing. Could anyone back me up on that? Leo writes, it's Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even talked about the fact that she lip synced. Who, JLo? Yes. Wait, I believe it's lip sunk. <laughs> lip sunk. <laughs> <laughs> on American Idol. Yeah. Hey. Come Here's on. the deal. Hey, Everybody, I'm not a fan. I'm not, she's I'm a not. Disney girl. She's super popular with the tween population, is? which is a that's, huge population. Is that what they're going for? Yeah. And that's all. It's all about that. So she's extremely popular, and now you're just being mean. Are you kidding? Do you, what's the number one voting demographic on the? Uh, well, I guess on those shows. shows. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be white. That's Teenage girls. Demographic. You're right. That's a good point. That's why those shitty people keep going through. <laughs> Probably right. Let's not talk about somebody. Shitty. Let's talk about somebody nice. You when you can, when you see me and a girl on my computer, you can take it. I don't know how else. There you go. Oh, that's Shireen yeah, Bergen. It is yes. Shireen Bergen. Look at what she's got the cute thing going on. Totally. Look at the look one, at the foot. Look, look at the pre- one foot. Wait, look how pretty her shoes on. I love it. She's got it over to the side a little okay, bit. Okay, so <laughs> I was. It was her she's birthday so Saturday night. And uh, I was the the I guess, the cook. What, what, what do you call it? Host. No, the cook, the entertainment, the whatever, right? <laughs> for like for like twenty eight people. Nice. Um, so at one point she comes up and says, "Can I take a picture?" I go, "Of course." So we're standing there, and I, I know Shireen A from the live cast, yeah. but B they've come to a couple classes, came to a book signing here. First time I met Shireen and um, her husband and, and two kids, they came to a book signing at a Costco. Drove down from Orange County, right? They, Super nice. They brought those uh, baklava. Baklava, baklava. Yeah. oh my Amazing. God, which, which don't I even ate, start. I ate way too no, much. No, wait we were, a minute. The first time, well, that was the first time we met them, but the first time we were introduced to them was way back in the beginning of the live cast when we were having people send in videos. Don't that's you right. And their kids made super cute videos. Oh, the right. kids, right. Yeah. Them imitating Sam. Right, right, right. right, right, right. That, that was cute. Right. So um, we're getting ready for the party, and um, I'm cooking outside at this amazing it's like a nice house. grill thing. It's crazy. It's all good. Beautiful, beautiful. And Shreen comes up and says, can I take a picture? Go, of course. So her husband takes the picture, right? He gets in really close and takes a picture, and I go, Trevor, the shoes. <laughs> she goes, right. Could you see the shoes? That's absolutely true. And he goes, no. True. He had to back up. You can't have the cute shoes like that and not put them in the picture. And I'm not talking about my shoes. I'm talking about her shoes. But look at the foot. Go back. Look at the little, like, tilt up on the foot. That's look totally at the like She knows shoes. how to take a picture, am I right? She knows how like to a, wear a dress, and she knows how to take how to wear shoes. I can't wear shoes like that for my who's life. The, the cartoon character, the little little Bo Peep. No, Bo Peep. Uh, <laughs> little Bo Peep. You're watching more cartoons in you your like house that? than we are. No, little she's Bo Peep. a famous old icon. Betty Boop. Oh, Betty, Boop. Betty Boop. Betty Boop. Right? She's got that Betty she's Boop cute thing. That, yeah, with the yeah, little legs. I could see. I could see that. Foot. So check out who was also invited to this party. Uh, <laughs> uh, you take my computer anytime. Yeah. Lynn was there. No. <laughs> <laughs> when was this party, by the way? It was Saturday night. Blake, Blake. and Guest. Blake, Blake and Guest. Blake Puente. How did he get invited? You know, they're friends. Here, look at here's the thing that I think is cool about this show. Yeah. They met on the Sam Livecast Facebook chatter during the show, nice. and they've become friendly. And they've been to the live livecast before. They've been to the livecast yeah. before, right? It's all. Are they cool. BFFs? I think they're FBBFFs. What is that? Facebook best oh. friends forever. <laughs> right? I think well, I texted and invited but, but guess yes. what? To, but check this part out. You ready? That's pretty important. Go back to the picture for a second. He didn't show up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You mean it remained like that? I'll I hate to call him out, oh. but that place sat empty like that the entire night. Oh, I texted dude. him Sam at about you out. Oh, he's already five responded. o'clock. Wait, at about five o'clock, I texted him and I said, is the guest Sarah H? And I didn't hear back. Yeah. Wait, Lynn, he responded? Yeah, he's, oh, he's, yeah. I feel horrible. I feel horrible. That's yeah, all I can that's say. say. Honestly, miserable. That's all you got to say? That's all he's got. <laughs> that's all I can't know. From the guy, wait, amazingly, from the guy that's got, got more to say than most 
I know. People watching know. this show. You really st- oh, Blake. You really you, that looked like a nice party, Blake. You missed out. Yeah. Here's what I made. You can't really see it on the on the menu thing there. Those are all the recipes. I started with smoked salmon deviled eggs. Do we do those on the show? Oh. Do we do them here? Did we? I don't know. We should do them. I'm telling you. No, we did. We did. We did. We had to have done it. Because I've PR, my it? sister has made that for Thanksgiving and yeah. she only makes things we make on the show. So. I don't know no, if we I've did got though. They're in the book here. I remember saying that. Oh, they are in the book? Okay. The smoked salmon devil eggs. But I changed them up a little bit. Uh oh. Instead of the caviar on top, I did really finely diced crispy bacon. Just a, l- a little like a little like smidge of it. So good. Huh. So I did that. I did the um, Maybe we haven't. the uh, blue cheese and roasted red pepper bruschetta. Mm. Oh yeah, it was a ten. I did the Captain Crunch tuna. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Can't go wrong there. I did. Uh, we did a little champagne uh, pomegranate th- vodka thing to go with that. The appetizers. Ooh. Then I did uh, my margaritas that we've all had and are great. Yep, love it. Not blowing my own horn. I'm just saying my margaritas are great. <laughs> I did the Mexican Caesar salad. I don't think we've done it here. It's sort of a semi-traditional Caesar, but instead of anchovy paste, Lynn, you know what I'm using these days? Chipotle. Fish sauce. Oh, what? Because you know what fish sauce is made of? Fish. Anchovies. Yep. It's so good. It's a little bit more sort of bitey. It's really delicious. With roasted corn in it, grilled roasted corn, mm. bacon, Thinly sliced tortilla strips on top. Oh. Super good. Uh, then I did my enchiladas. We've done those on here. Yep. But the change, there's that Mexican Caesar. But the change that I made to the enchiladas, you remember the chipotle biscuits and gravy? Sorry. Chorizo. The chorizo biscuits and gravy we yes. did here? The best. I took the chorizo, I browned it, and I put up two pounds of chorizo. I put a pint of whipping cream in and just let it get thick. Oh. And I spooned that over the top of the enchiladas. Oh. And I, I'm, not, I'm not bragging. I'm, I'm just saying. My enchiladas by themselves are really freaking good. And that's all we're having tonight? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> my enchiladas with this chorizo cream over the top oh. are 25 out of 10. Jeez. They're so stupid good. We should do that one night. And then I did a whole. <laughs> I'm not just saying that for me. Uh, yeah, you are. <laughs> I right. did a whole beef tenderloin, which we're going to do. We're going to do beef tenderloin week here. The whole thing? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. I thought it would be fun to do a whole one and then show two things you can do with it. That's. Whole beef tenderloin. I'm going to show up for that uh, one. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> with uh, blue cheese mashed potatoes underneath. Oh. Did the French martini cocktail with that. And then we did the grilled pound cake with Chambord whipping cream and fresh fruit. Jeez. It was a good food lineup that night. And Blake didn't show up. Uh, but all he has to say is he's... No, he's he, he said more. Oh, let's hear it. Let's yeah. see. Blake Puente, three minutes bad. ago. I was stood up. I'm too socially awkward to show up alone. No, you're not. No, definitely Come on. Not. He showed up here alone. And he I've says, only met Blake a few times. Wait, didn't show. Did, oh, Blake came with somebody. Mm-hmm. No, that's he true. He did come with somebody. But still, he doesn't seem like the guy to go. Oh, no, no definitely. Selling yourself Blake, short, Blake. Blake, it's us. Us. <laughs> if anything, you, you could have met somebody there. Oh, it's true. It's yes. true. You know where you could meet somebody? At Fixtures Living. <laughs> Seriously. You, nice fact, transition. You, you actually could. Thank you. Fixtures Living. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, everything amazing that you would want for your kitchen, bath, or outside. And you could meet people there because people go there to do these kind of things. And the crazy thing about fixtures, the people that work there are super nice. Mm -hmm. There used to be a store in San Diego, they're not around anymore, called Standards of Excellence. It's a store that used to do this kind of thing. And I always used to call them standards of douchebags because they were so <laughs> freaking mean. Wow. Were they really? And it's, uh, I can't tell you. I had only ever gone once and they treated me like complete crap. And it had nothing to do with me being Sam the cooking guy because it was before my cooking guy days. Yeah. It was me going to check out appliances and I walked in and they were mean. And when I finally asked for some help, they looked at me and they did this. Do you have an appointment? No. Have you made an appointment? 
No, I haven't made an appointment. Oh, well, go wait over there and maybe somebody who we've just fired has nothing to do. They might come <laughs> help you. You walk into, into fixtures. The first thing they do, they greet you warmly, legitimately, and then they offer you a handcrafted coffee. Oh, I don't need to say anything else. A place that does that cares about your shopping experience. Fixtures Living, San Diego, Rancho Mirage in Palm Springs, and Costa Mesa, and soon to be everywhere. Fixturesliving.com, just go check it out. And go there and just revel in the niceness. That should be their new line. Revel like in the, the niceness. niceness. <laughs> I like it. Oh, God. So, Mitt Romney's had trouble lately because of his high school antics. Mm -hmm. and I've tried to separate how I feel about him in general and the antics. I'm not a huge fan. And this is not a political show and this is not meant to be anything political. <laughs> but I did stuff when I was a teenager, uh -huh. when I was in high school. I think everybody did. Yeah. I mean, I was never one of the kids that turned a child upside down and put his head into the toilet and flushed it. I believe that's called a swirly. Is that right? Yeah, that's called a swirly. You were the kid that was. Uh, <laughs> no, I was okay. I didn't get. I didn't get. I didn't get abused. But. But if stuff came out about, I mean. Half the stuff you did. A half. I went to a. I went to a private boarding school that was com not unlike where. Um, Mitt went. Romney went. It was called Brentwood College on Vancouver Island, which Travel and Leisure just named in the top 10 of all islands in the world. Really? really? Yeah. Wow. Wait. Sorry, North American, North American Canada, Canadian islands, I think. We're pulling up a pic right now. Of Brentwood? Of, of just Vancouver Island. But yeah, oh, we Vancouver can Island. Find you can go look. Go look for Brentwood College. It's probably brentwoodcollege.ca, I think is what it is. Mm-hmm. It's about a half hour mm -hmm. ride, right? Half hour from from. Uh, oh, Seattle would be like forty minutes. Wow, it looks there's so nice. Brentwood College, right? Rowers. So that's kayaking, but I rowed. Oh. There's you're gonna see stuff there of rowing. I rowed like they do at the Royal Henley Regatta in England. Anyway, it's a very it was a wonderful education. I mean, it started off it, we, it was a place where you would send troubled uh, youth, and then it became a like a privileged education. It was a great school. Yeah. So when point? you went, was it a privileged education? Or yeah, I wasn't there. My brother okay. went when it was a trouble place. Got it, got it, got it. I went when it was, you were lucky to go. Got it. Right. Okay. Can I point something out real quick? Yeah. Look at the mountains in the I back know. left. No, it's stupid it's crazy. So that's Whistler back there, people. Wow. Uh, no, uh, Not that mountain specifically, just in yeah, the direction. Yeah. Amazing. It's well, amazing. It's yeah, it's amazing. An hour out of Vancouver, basically. Yeah. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Over in Vancouver. Anyway. I was thinking about the worst thing that I did there. And that was the drinking and the, the smoking pot and wh whatever you did in those days when you were a kid and that kind of stuff. And I, I don't think that stuff would be. President Obama has spoken about his, his raucous youth and the drinking and the smoking, whatever, all that stuff, right? I think those things probably get pushed aside these days. Mm -hmm. They're not that uncommon. George W. had a DUI. George W. did. He did. And it was forgiven. Right. There were a group of seniors <laughs> at the school when I went that had literally the keys to the school. Wow. In those days, it was a very old school. Old facilities, old building. I mean, all the, all the staff was British. We talked about that, you know, the teacher that... Would hit you in the. Yeah, that, that was my I, dad. But we talked about the beatings and the <laughs> right. They're all British and Zion, get over here, you snotty nose child. That was that kind of thing. Right? <laughs> Thank you, Patrick that Stewart. Day. Remember that day. <laughs> but it looked like you were in old like England facilities and stuff. Like Harry Potter. Yeah, not quite Hogwarts. as grand, okay. but definitely you know definitely Harry Potter esque. Yeah. And somehow a group of seniors had acquired a set of keys to the whole freaking school. That'd be awesome. Literally. That'd be Literally. so cool. <laughs> and those seniors passed those keys down as they were leaving, graduating to the incoming group of seniors. It's actually a really cool story. I think that'd be nice to inherit. Hmm. That. It was pretty cool. Yeah. And you had to kind of be in the 
like the hipper sh group to get them. You lived there, right? Or Sorry, no? did you, you we did, it was a boarding school, right, boarding yeah, school, for yeah. most of the kids. Kids that lived, you know, within a few miles would, would just be day students, but we boarded there. And how did they decide who gets the keys? Is it just all? They decided who they thought were the cool, about to be senior, I mean, 12th graders. Yeah. And in Canada, when somebody says, what grade are you in? You don't say, I'm in 12th grade. You say, I'm in grade 12. I'm in grade 10. I'm, I'm in a grade, grade 8. I'm grade 12-er. That makes a lot of sense. Which sounds, I know it sounds stupid here. Anyway, the group that I was in got these keys. And it was our finals. Our finals for 12th grade. And somebody said, you know, we have the keys. We can go into the administration building and into the main office <laughs> and probably find the tests that we're about to take next week. That's terrible. I don't think they can do anything to me now. <laughs> no, you did it. And most of the school is new now. <laughs> so I don't think the keys work anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, geez. Sam, that's bad. I See, I would never have done that. Ever. I would never have done that. And I did bad <laughs> so things. Whoa. So oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, that's an, we just got to save that for the uh, show. Let's yeah. put a pin in that. <laughs> so under the cover of darkness, we snuck out one night. And you have to know that it was a big campus and you were, you know, stealthily moved our way to the main administration building that was open. Made our way to the office, used the keys, went in, opened the drawers that, I mean, there was only 300 kids in the whole school, so everybody was familiar with everything. And we pulled out a couple tests. Really? And photocopied them. Really? Yeah. You had photocopiers back then? <laughs> yes. <laughs> or maybe somebody wrote them. I don't remember what we did. Mm -hmm. Put everything back. We used to take our exams in the gymnasium. You could fit almost everybody in the school in there at desk. It was insane. Wow. Two teachers walking around. I don't remember how it worked, whatever. There were only 90 kids in my graduating class, 19, 12th grade, or grade 12. And we all did really well. Those of us that had the test did really well. <laughs> and I remember there being this moment. You take your tests, and then you'd still have a few classes after that. There really wasn't very much to do, sort of wrapping up things. And I remember in history... Mr. Prouse handing back these tests. And instead of just taking them and giving me, he was like just boom, boom, like throwing them on your desk. And he goes like this. <clears throat> Something happened. We were like, what? And he goes, we don't know exactly what it is, but something happened. <laughs> we didn't know what he was even talking about. He goes, the grades are far too good <laughs> to be legitimate. Something has happened here. We don't know what it is, but something has happened. Wow. <laughs> and that was all that ever resulted. Were you guys nervous? When he started with the something happened thing, yeah. I thought maybe something bad was going to go down, but they had no proof. Right. All they knew was that idiots like me got way too good a grade <laughs> to be legit, right. but they had no idea how it happened. And we weren't, nobody sat. Like they really did a good job of spreading you out in the exam sessions mm -hmm. yeah but i thought about that if i was in an important office or running for an important office and that came out i was 17 right right how would that look would that mean that i was a cheater my whole life because i'll be honest i'm very honest now i don't like cheating and when kelly said she can't believe it i think she's saying she can't believe it because i wouldn't kelly knows i go out of my way to be honest about stuff now. Mm -hmm. He made me. He, mar fault, right. he marched me into the into the principal's office at Tory Pines and forced me to admit that I had been underage drinking. <laughs> it was the right <laughs> thing too. I believe in doing the right thing. When was that? But so I guess. <laughs> uh, look, I'm not nice making this case to defend Mitt Romney. I'm just saying, 
Should we be held accountable for shit we do when we're 16 and 17? No, of course not. That's I stupid. want to go back to Max's story. What was that? <laughs> oh, where that was, was I? The, it was uh, Are you really kidding? Well, where were you? Was, what do you mean? This was like at the very that was end the of night high school. Setting up for the prom. Oh, oh yeah, that was when you there. didn't get to walk at graduation. Can Max? we tell I got to walk at graduation. Tell that you tell that out. story. I can tell that story? Yes. I, uh the girls on. Uh, can I go over here? <laughs> yeah. While you tell that? Yeah. Where are you going? Uh, uh, I'm gonna go. Over, wait, hang on a sec. I'm gonna go over here. I gotta do a couple things with the artichokes. Should we cook? I'm gonna throw them on the grill, and then I'm, well while cook. they're on the grill, I'm gonna come back and make a little sauce. We might as well cook. Okay, cool. So ready? Uh, it's time in the Sam live cast for what we like to call "Let's cook this shit." <laughs> That's not what we call it. We say "Let's cook." <laughs> we can cook now. <laughs> All right, so just let me get this happening and then Maxie can, you know, tell his little story. So here they are. Here are these, uh, the artichoke, the baby artichoke uh, halves that we've made. And so they're only going to get two things from me. They're going to get a little olive oil. Okay, a little salt and pepper and that's it. Three things then, right? Like this. Olive oil here. A little salt. They look beautiful. Don't they? Mm -hmm. And now some pepper. Okay, cool shot. We're gonna mix these. <laughs> Leo called you Sam the cooking spy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Because I'm sure it was a covert mission to get the test. Oh that oh yes, that that was a covert mission. Okay. These guys are coming outside. Let's go throw these on the grill. Then we've got a few minutes, Steve. Let me just get these things on. Oh god, the grill is way too hot. Okay, this thing is like insanely hot. I should have made way more. Here's the problem. I wasn't planning on doing it here tonight. When I saw these at Specialty Produce, I thought, oh, I don't really know a whole lot about those. I'll just buy a few and Kelly and I can try them. But now I only have 12 halves and I've got these boys here that like to eat the food, so. <laughs> oh, they're By good. the way, yes? Specialty is watching. Oh, they are? Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So here they are. They're just going to go on here. Uh, this is stupid. Why am I using that thing? My hands... God gave us hands because they work better than almost anything. <laughs> Until Sam. this thing gets really hot, yeah. Roger writes, Sam, your school called. They want your diploma back. They can have it. <laughs> you know what? It's so they funny. <laughs> I... Ow. Oh, it's hot. That's why you use tongs. Yeah. Oh, the sun is killing me. Oh my gosh. The heat's killing you? No, the sun. Oh, one more. All right. Ow, ow. Okay, there we go. Tongs? Okay, inside while we make a little sauce. Oh, Steve, wait. Sorry, this is not great TV. You can stay there, dude. Wait, I need some uh, basil. Shoot. Why didn't I think about this? Oh, this will be enough. Hold on. That's the blue African. Oh, it's yummy. Blue African basil off my... Oh, there's a spider here. He's really cute. That's another thing. Sam won't kill bugs. Watch this. I don't like to kill, won't bugs. kill no, bugs. No, kill really? bugs. Nope. He will pick a spider up inside the house and he will take it to a lovely place outside. I'm the same way. I put yeah. him on a, a thing. A little, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, I got to make this little sauce. Look at those guys are beautiful. Okay, here we go. I'm stuck. Yeah, you're good, Steve. You just right. you can untangle yourself. <laughs> Steve is stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> uh oh, wait. There you go. Shoot. What? So I'm just gonna take these little basil leaves. They're gonna go in what I'm gonna make next. Uh, I'm just gonna just do this little chiffonade thing, which means you stack them, you roll them up like a little cigar, and then you chop. And then you chop. And you call that a chiffonade? Chiffonade is the uh, appropriate method, French name, oh. right? Got it. But now you've got it like this, and it's beautiful, but I want the pieces a little smaller. So now I'll just do this. Once it's cut. What, what basil was this, Kelly? Blue, Blue African? African? Blue African basil. Look how yeah, cool it's that is, good. Right? The smell right here is really delicious. Beautiful looking. 
Okay. So we've got this. I can make this little sauce quickly because it's only a couple ingredients. It's uh, some lemons, some mayo. Lemons, mayo. Oh, a little garlic. Please let me have garlic. Please let me have garlic. There's lots. Please, I got, I got, I got, I got. There's lots. Oh, is this just the the, the artichoke sauce that we, we normally have with regular ones? Um, no, no that's that curry. Doesn't have garlic. This is, that one's just mayo, mustard, and curry. Curry powder. powder. So got check it. this out. So here's what this is. This is uh, this backup. Steven, one second. Max, we're going to get to your story of being a bad boy in college. No, let's skip it. Oh, save it? Okay, we'll save let's it. Let's just skip Okay, it. so we've got mayo here, right? This garlic that I've just squeezed in, which is beautiful. I want some lemon juice, and I've just got this big bag of lemons <laughs> left over from the other night. Some cocktails and stuff. I don't want any seeds, though. Some lemon juice. Let me just do one more of these in here. Would you ever want to use Japanese mayo with that? Um, yeah, but I'm sort of trying to make the mayo in this more like a carrier rather than a big flavor. Got it. And the flavor of the Japanese mayo puts it like r way up front, right? Mm-hmm. Smell this basil. So mayo, basil, garlic, lemon, and now hold on. Yum. Mix. Yeah, the smells here is really good. Oh, yeah. Tiny little bit of salt because we add a little bit of salt to everything because it just enhances the natural flavors of whatever it is we're making. It's kind of messy here. I'm going to have to clean up for a second. But before I do, let's go check what we've got going on out here. And if you think what we're doing tonight is a little... Oh, see? They're starting to get this color, which is really nice. So I can flip these guys. Uh, if you think that this back and forth between inside the house and outside is, is a little messy and random, remember one thing, this is live television. There's no editing that goes on here. This is what we like to do. And by the way, this is the way people cook at home. Yeah. This back and forth. So the key to this show for me, the important part of this show for me is that I do stuff that you can do in the same time it takes us. You're watching us do it live. It's not edited or anything. So you should be able to watch it. If you go, oh, I could never cook stuff like that. Yeah, you can cook stuff like this because we're doing it right in front of your eyes. Look at the colors on those things. I love that. Oh yeah, and be sure to head to thesamlivecast.com to see all of our previously archived episodes. We've got over 140 of them now. By the way, do you know what next Wednesday is? One year. Our one year anniversary. No way. How stupid is that? Wow. Where did that come from? By the way, this salmon. The oh. Shit. Oh. You didn't just drop the salmon. No. Oh, oh, I, I dropped oh, blackberries. Okay. Oh. We could wash them. No big We're going to wash them. By the way, these blackberries also came from specialty. No, we're going to want... Oh, Wait, you can't open, eat some. Sam, open, open the crisper. Show everybody what I got for it's Mother's ridiculous. Day. It's ridiculous. You're going to die. Oh, oh, booyah, mofo. Oh. Can you eat all that before I get so excited. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, my God. I'm not kidding. That, like, gives me the shivers when I see it. Get I get out so of excited. Here. Oh, you yeah. have no idea. By the way, this and salmon... And I have to hide half of it from the family so they don't eat it all. Yeah. Wow. And I'm just saying, uh, she's so in love with fruit, and we buy a lot of fruit. The fruit of the stores these days may be starting to get there. The fruit of specialty is on a whole nother level. It's, I'm, not, I'm not saying that for yeah, saying that. No, sake. I feel cheated. It's on a whole nother level. Don't. That it's been kept from me all right this time. Thanks for watching specialty. Yeah, Night how? crew is in and watching the live cast. So yeah, many how? artichokes, so little time. How have you yeah. not gone there, Steve? Well, because I just heard about it. Because you just learned that regular people could go there. That's, that was the thing for me. We didn't know regular everyday people could go there. Okay, so. I just gotta, I just, I can't, I cannot serve these artichokes in this mess of a place that I've got going on here right now. It's important that I clean as I go. Ooh, they're looking very nice on the grill. Oh, oh look at them, yeah, there they are. All right, so we're almost there. Almost I love there, those folks. grill marks. It's one of my favorite things. Yeah, isn't it nice? Mm-hmm. 
Who doesn't like that? And if you didn't have a grill, uh, you could definitely use a grill pan, and I think you should own a grill pan. Because there's plenty of times when you want to take advantage of cooking something that way. Mm -hmm. And the way to do it is with a grill pan. You want to raise the food, the vegetables, the protein, whatever it is, mm -hmm. off the pan and get those little grill marks and uh, um, get those little grill marks on there. Okay. So for our for our city dwelling viewers in places like New York, exactly that don't have uh, backyards for barbecue. Right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to think about how I want to serve these guys. So I'm just going to do this. Wait. I need to taste that. Oh my god. Good. Just just dip a finger in that, dude. Oh. And taste it. <laughs> Basil, garlic, lemon juice. Mayo, that's wow. it. Okay, there you go. That's it. I that's can relax it? Now. now I can relax. Now I've got a clean place to have this. i got a question for you. Yeah. Kelly Myers, who is using Mio at your house? Oh, oh. God. <laughs> Wait, oh. she's referring to this. <laughs> Kelly, it's him. He's his, obsessed. Right. His Mio display. <laughs> it's not a Mio display. And no one's allowed. Oh, there's some of that good tomato sauce you made I like the other Mio. day. That tomato sauce from the show last yeah, week. Yeah, from the burrata. Yeah, I apologize no. for all the Mio. No, I don't. I love Mio. It has no calories. It has no fat. It's got something bad that will probably make my toes or penis drop off in a couple of years. But oh, hey. Oh, God. By that point, I will have used everything <laughs> enough. It doesn't really matter. We, just made that we pizza. have our children. Earlier this week, how long does that sauce last? The, that sauce? Yeah, it's probably there's uh, probably good for a week. A week, okay. Yeah, Sam, yeah, make so. that with the rings. Oh when yeah. Dad comes home. Dad. What rings? The yes. Rings. Sorry. Yes. Everybody's talking to you. Jilly yes. and I made the um, burrata margarita pizza the other night. That's right. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, it's so good. So it good, literally right? is one of the best pizzas I've ever had. That's I don't know awesome. how it's so simple and so amazing, but the burrata when you just put it on top and it melts all on its oh, own. It's so good. I could I I totally realized what you meant by do not put the burrata under the heat because no, if you you'd do, be sorry. it'll yeah. You'd be sorry. Okay, I think these guys are ready. I do feel like I need to try one, and this little guy's down here. And oh, son, can you? Uh, yeah, this son's right really there. bad. Hold on. How about there? Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah. Oh Ready? crap! It's crispy. Mm-hmm. 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 Watch this. Oh god! That was. <laughs> that was really good. Oh, you are crazy. Yeah, why are you going to do that? <laughs> oh, Sam. Mm, he can't even open his eyes. <laughs> but see, that's the beauty of the baby artichokes. We can't see. Talk to, talk to Lynn. The beauty of the baby artichokes is that you can eat the whole thing. Let me get my... Pass me that plate, Steve. Just yeah. let me take these off. That's like the best part of the artichoke because it sucks having to deal with all that. Oh, these are so good. Thank you. Okay, watch this. Here we go. Look at, of course you could do things like, um, you could cook them, saute them a little bit, and you could put them in some pasta, right? That would be like a no-brainer. You could uh, cook them part way, slice them up, and put them on a pizza. That would be a delicious thing to do. I kind of like food at its purest form sometimes. And the fact that all these have is a little salt, pepper, and olive oil, and they've been grilled, you don't have to dip them in the sauce. If you want to, you're certainly welcome to. Lynn, you should get your camera. I don't think these are going to last here all that long. Yum. But these are going to be delicious. And it would be not right if I didn't try one with the sauce right here. Ow, 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 wow. I guess I could wait. Maybe the prudent thing to do would be to say to people, just let them cool slightly before you do this. Oh my god. Okay. This little pairing is absolutely majestic. Which is really a stupid way to put this, but I'm telling you, <laughs> they're super good. Lynn, if you can't get a picture now soon, it's all right. 
He's coming. I'll remake them because these things should be eaten warm. They got about two minutes. Anyway, we didn't talk about Donovan's that I know from two people that I heard from today had very nice Mother's Day dinners there. Donovan's took over. They did the food. They did the ambiance. They did the cooking. They did their 1600 degree steaks. One of the people I talked to only had seafood. Okay, so one of the things they had was the seafood tower, but it was all good. Donovan Steak and Chop House here in San Diego, in the UTC area, downtown in the Gas Lamp, Donovan's Prime Seafood in the Gas Lamp, and in Phoenix, Arizona, Donovan's Steak and Chop House. Been a longtime supporter of the Sam Live Cast. We're proud to have them here. Mm -hmm. Go there, walk in, and say, Sam, the live cast people told us to come here. And if they say who, say, we don't care. We just want some amazing food. Lynn, get off that camera. Get over here. What are you doing? Forget it. I got it right here. Right. You don't have to worry about that. Right. This is all that matters is that all picture. Right, all right, all right. Here we go. Kelly? Yeah. We got it under control. Thank you for being here tonight. It's Monday. We'll see you Wednesday. I don't know what we're making Wednesday. What are we doing Wednesday? Anybody know? Nope. Nobody knows. It's one week from our uh, one year anniversary. Thanks for being here. Go to specialty, get the baby artichokes. I'd say go to your regular supermarket and find them. Unfortunately, they're just not around. I'm not seeing them. And they're a seasonal thing. They're amazing. See you next week. Nope. See you Wednesday.